Well, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, beautiful community partners and friends to the White Pony Express ribbon cutting ceremony. Today, we commemorate our founding story, our history, or her story as the case may be. And how much we have grown in loving service to our neighbors in Contra Costa County. There is so much abundance in California that no one needs to go to bed without food or survival essentials. And yet, in our state, a state so wealthy, it has the fifth largest economy in the world, over three million households face food insecurity. WPE's founder, Dr. Carol Whalen Connor, started White Pony Express Food Rescue Program in 2013. Today, we have recovered and delivered more than 27 million pounds of fresh, nutritious food. <laughs> and thank you to over 100 community-based nonprofit partners, our beloved partners. Every year, we serve 125,000 unique individuals from infants to the aging, the unhoused, the housed, those too often underserved and underrepresented. Our impact is made possible by the love and service of thousands of volunteers. Our volunteers are the hands and feet of White Pony Express. Our motto, all of us taking care of all of us, comes to life every day, seven days a week, as volunteers stream into our distribution center and carefully sort, customize, and curate deliveries of fresh, healthy food. Through their selfless service, we actualize Dr. Connor's vision to enable those who have more than they need to easily give to those with less so that all can share in the happiness and abundance of life. Today and for this occasion, there are many people to thank in addition to our volunteers. WPE outgrew our home in Pleasant Hill and needed new headquarters in order to serve the need and to serve all of those knocking on our doors. It took a village for this dream to become reality. And here are just a few of the remarkable villagers. First, WPE's board of directors trusted the process and trusted our team every step of the way and encouraged us to dream big. Second, I have never felt more privileged than I do to be working alongside the WPE staff team. You can tell who we are because today we are wearing our uniforms. Please give them high fives. They are tireless. They never tire of saying yes. Change can be difficult and they managed innumerable changes with grace and with open minds. Now, as I said, our volunteers are the heartbeat of White Pony Express. One particular volunteer, Mike Colvin, was instrumental in this move. Mike is conveniently in Hawaii and will not hear me sing his praises today. Of all the people I know, no one has earned a vacation like Mike has. He volunteered to be our project manager, which proved to be a full-time job where the only benefit was knowing that he would be that we would be able to provide fresh healthy food to thousands more people once we were all moved in. He served selflessly and with a sense of humor, and I don't know what we would have done without him. To create a space that suits our unique food recovery operation, Mike and our staff worked with over 10 building contractors who you'll see acknowledged inside on a poster right when you walk in. These skilled workers went above and beyond, again embodying WPE's motto, all of us taking care of all of us. The spirit of generosity is what leads to meaningful, positive change. 
And as you can see, our new home is built on a foundation of selfless service and generosity. As Dr. Connor has said, White Pony Express is built on the understanding that in this beautiful world we share, love knows all, does all, and is the most powerful force in the universe. Many of you knew our founder, Dr. Connor, uh, who passed away last year. But most people don't know her as well as our next speaker, Walker Lambert. Walker is the current spiritual director of Sufism Reoriented, and he has agreed to share in memory of and on behalf of our dear friend and our inspiration, Dr. Carol Whalen Connor. Thank you, Eve. And thank you for the remarkable work you have done in leading White Pony Express and in inaugurating this exciting, very exciting new chapter. Um, what a testament to the work of Carol Connor and to your love for that work and for her. Well, I'm here today, as Eve mentioned, uh, on behalf of my predecessor, the late Dr. Carol Whalen Connor. When Carol, Dr. Connor, started White Pony Express in 2013, with $800 and just a few volunteers, it was at that time a project within Sufism Reoriented, where she served and where I now serve as the spiritual director. Back in 2013, White Pony Express was effectively operating out of a few garages in the living rooms of volunteers, and of course, with a lot of love. As the project grew and more and more food kept coming in, Carol quickly began to envision it becoming a broader community organization, tapping the enormous resources within the wider region so that all could voluntarily share in the abundance of this remarkable place we live. The project began with a simple observation of something that seemed to make no sense, and, with, and that Eve just mentioned a moment ago. How could it be that one of the wealthiest counties in a state that is itself one of the largest economies on earth, how could it be that here so many still go hungry? As Carol walked around town, she befriended those living on the streets and thought it puzzling that so many in our region have so much, much more than they need and much more, frankly, that they usually want. And yet there are still so many who lack the very basic, basic necessities of life. She also knew that when given the chance, most people are happy to contribute in any way they can offering whatever they might have in surplus, be it time, or their money, or their food, or just their good cheer. White Pony Express was her response to this quandary. It would provide new opportunities to give and to receive. Since its humble founding 11 years ago, those opportunities have continued to grow each year. She was adamant that White Pony Express was neither a charity nor a social service organization. Rather, sharing in abundance is simply the natural course of things. Just as you would serve the best to your son or your daughter, to your mother, to your grandfather, or to your friend, White Pony Express aims to serve with the same kind of love the same kind of care, the same kind of attention you would give to your own child. In this way, everyone is lifted, both the giver and the receiver, Amen. in a perfect circle of love. The giver becomes the receiver, and the receiver gives through their acceptance of the offering. It's simply all of us taking care of all of us. Love becomes the sole actor in the equation. Yes, it is. 
Carol noted many times that White Pony Express did not come about through any deliberate planning or programming on her part. She had no intention whatsoever of launching a celebrated nonprofit. In her words, in every case, a door opened on vistas gleaming with higher principles, and I simply walked through without any foreknowledge of where it might lead. But in every case, it has led to new opportunities to share love with others in the service of life's unity. You see, love blurs differences, joining all participants in a oneness. Love is, in this respect, the most knowing and most powerful force that we know. It opens doors for us all the time if we just keep our eyes open. All we can walk, do is walk through and see where it leads. When we permit ourselves to walk freely through each open door without expectation, often what we find is far greater than anything we could have planned or designed on our own. That is the story of White Pony Express. Doors kept opening, and Carol kept walking through. And in time, many others walked through as well. We all share in one life. This is our life together. It's not your life, or my life, or his life, or her life. It's our life. And as Carol would say, that is the central fact of our existence. When we are able to see this life as one life and not ours alone, then sharing abundance does not seem like a distant phenomenon or even something that special. It's simply the natural course of the everyday. As natural as waking up, putting your clothes on, eating, going to work, and falling asleep. What an exciting new opening. Thank you. Is the mayor here? No, but vice mayor is. Oh, it, do you really? We get to do this? Aww. I am so pleased. All right, give me just one second then. Um, some of you might know that I grew up in Concord. My earliest memories are in Concord. Uh, Concord was founded under the name of Todos Santos, or All Saints, a name still borne by the central city and, and park, the plaza rather, and park. The valleys north of Mount Diablo were inhabited by the Miwok people who hunted elk, elk and fished the, the streams flowing from the mountain. Today, it is the most populous city in Contra Costa County, and we are delighted to be headquartered here. It is my honor to introduce Carolyn, who didn't, I don't think, knew that she was going to be able to speak some words today. Uh, but I'm so happy that it, that it is you. And, um, and I'll just let you know that she has been a wonderful partner to WPE and uh, supporter for all of our years. Um, and it is with my great pleasure uh, that I introduce Carlin, who, uh, who will speak on behalf of the city of Concord. Well, thank you so much, and I am really excited to be able to say a few words because this is also my city council district, District 2, so welcome to District 2. I also would like to acknowledge my colleague, uh, Laura Hoffmeister, Councilmember Hoffmeister, and former mayor is also here today. And I am so delighted that White Pony Express is located here. Because a few years ago, I had the chance to attend a program at Mount Diablo High School where Eve was speaking and talking about the partnerships, especially during COVID, to help feed uh, those in need. And also, we want to reduce carbon emissions. Uh, we don't want to be throwing 
food into the landfills. And that's when I really first started learning about this program. And then Eve was so proactive. She reached out to me multiple times. We had a great coffee over in Pleasant Hill that I remember where she told me about her dream to grow and expand and move to Concord. And so at that time, I connected her with our economic development staff and the search began and our economic development team does a great job. If anybody is looking to relocate or locate within the city of Concord, we are happy to help you. But we are the biggest city. We are the most diverse city in Contra Costa County. We do have one of two of the homeless shelters in the county. We do have a lot of people who have need in the community. And so I think it's very appropriate that White Pony Express is located here, right in the heart of Contra Costa County, right near Highway 4, 242, being able to get out and people being able to get here to volunteer and serve. So I just wanna say I am over the moon and um, I look forward to many years of great partnership helping to serve the people of Contra Costa together. Thank you, Eve. Thank you. Thank you wholeheartedly. Our last speaker before we don the scissors is Chanel Scales Preston, who's representing Congressman Mark Desaunier's office. The Congressman has been an ally and a friend to White Pony Express since our early days. Oh, but that's okay. <laughs> he and his team are committed to our goal of providing access to fresh, healthy food for all. Congressman Desaunier also recognizes, as Carolyn, Carlin does, the environmental impact of food recovery and the fact that we're preventing methane, creating a healthier planet, and providing nutrition security to Contra Costa residents. But I have to say that in addition to being here on behalf of Mark, Chanel is a standalone force to be reckon, reckoned with. She grew up in East County. She actually went to school with WPE's Director of Operations, Anna Bostic. Uh, she's raising two boys in Pittsburgh, and she has been a leader in Pittsburgh and across the county in positions that range from city council member to mayor to president to board chair. I'm delighted she's here to help us open this new chapter of service. Thank you, Eve, for that introduction. That was really sweet of you. I appreciate that. Well, I just want to thank White Pony Express for all you do in the city of Pittsburgh and our neighboring unincorporated area in Bay Point. Um, I have family members there in Bay Point and I volunteer my time out there as well. And White Pony Express right from the beginning um, started off giving clothes um, at the Ambrose Community Center and food. Um, and you can just, you know, see the smiles on people's yeah. faces, um, just, just to have brand new clothes. A lot of these clothes have the tags on them still and shoes have the tags on them still. So just thank you for doing that for our community. I just really appreciate it. And thank you for all the nonprofits and the faith-based organizations because yeah. you have really made that connection with them out in East Contra Costa County. So thank you. I would like to give remarks on behalf of the Congressman um, and I serve as his district director as well. Dear friends, I wish to extend my gratitude to White Pony Express for your outstanding dedication to serving our neighbors and congratulate you on your new space. White Pony Express has worked tirelessly to fight poverty and food insecurities in our community and their food rescue and clothing programs. White Pony Express serves over 125,000 people each year and has given 1.5 million in clothing items emergency supplies, toys, books, and have delivered over 27 million in fresh foods since the creation in 2013. Additionally, I am proud to secure funding for White Pony Express School Pantry Program to increase fresh and high quality food in Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh Brentwood, and Martina schools. White Pony continues to demonstrate their steadfast commitment to supporting our vulnerable members of our community and work and play a vital role in East Contra Costa County and throughout District 10. I am aspired to work hard 
and I'm inspired to continue to working for you all. I just wanna thank the volunteers for all that you do. Thank you for carrying out this important work and I look forward to the continued success of your new home. Thank you, Congressman Marcus Mann. Oh, that's very special, thank you. Thank you again, Chanel. And a huge thanks to each of you and to your spontaneous service to life where each one helps each one. We are so pleased to welcome many elected officials today, over 40, who took time to celebrate with the White Pony Express community. A special thank you to mayors, well, to Vice Mayor, Carolyn Obringer <laughs> and um, Jim Diaz of Clayton, Teresa Onada of Moraga, Anissa Williams of Oakley, Matt Wren of Pleasant Hill, and Luella Haskew of Walnut Creek. Many city council members, many city council members have also joined us representing 12 cities throughout the county, as well as the representatives of Congressman Mark Desaigne and John Garamendi, U.S. Senator Alex Padilla, California Senators Steve Glazier and Bill Dodd, California Assembly Members Tim Grayson, Rebecca Bauer Cahan, Buffy Wicks, and Lori Wilson, the Regional Office of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Service, Supervisors Candace Anderson, Diane Burgess, and Federal Glover, the Contra Costa County Superintendent of Schools, Hi Lynn, and the San Francisco Consulates of Mexico and Peru. Oh, wow. In the house. After the ribbon cutting, would love to take a few group pictures with the speakers and our government officials in front of the building if the rain allows us to. And now, with warm thanks to the Concord Chamber of Commerce and to each of you, we will cut the ribbon to celebrate many more years of service to our one human family. I'd like to invite the WPE staff team up to help me cut that ribbon.
no, no, no. I think yeah, this, is, this is perfect. Thank you. Can I there's drinks and food inside, so please make yourselves at home. Thank you so much for coming. That was so nice. Uh,